everyone. Welcome back to Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is cycle three, week 14, science. For everyone else, that just means that today we're going to be talking about elements. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so, so you never miss an episode from Doodling Through Education. I also wanted to draw your attention to a link that I put in the description. If you want to support the channel, you can do so through that link. Um, it's through a website called Buy Me A Coffee. Without further ado, let's start doodling. Today, we are going to define what an element is. An element is a substance which is either naturally occurring on Earth or made in a lab, and it is made all from the same type of atom. It is currently understood that there are 118 total elements of which 94 are naturally occurring on Earth and 24 elements are produced in a laboratory. We talked in the last video about how the atoms that comprise an element are organized onto a periodic table by the atomic number, which if you remember from last video, is the number of protons in an atom. Looking at the periodic table, you will notice that they are also organized into families of atoms that are alike. Some examples of families include alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, and noble gases. These are only some of the ways and some of the groups that our periodic table is organized into. Each of these families reacts in a certain way and behaves with the world around it in different ways. For example, metals are quite different from gases, and you wouldn't expect them to behave the same way. One family can be a very good conductor of electricity, while another family of elements may not conduct electricity very well at all. Something that is very interesting about our universe is that elements are the same everywhere. Although many scientists believe there are more elements that have yet to be discovered. So the iron atoms that make up the element iron on Earth are the same type of atoms that make up the iron that is found on Mars and makes that soil on Mars red. It has been proven that iron even found on meteorites is the same as the iron that we have here on Earth. Even though elements are all made from the same type of atoms, they can still come in different forms. Depending on their temperature, some atoms can be either a solid, a liquid, or a gas. An example of this would be water. The human body is approximately 99% comprised of just six elements. And those elements are oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, calcium, and phosphorus. Another five elements make up about 0.85% of the remaining mass, and they include sulfur, potassium, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium, but they appear in very small amounts in our body. All 11 of these elements, though, are necessary for life. Another fun fact is that hydrogen is the most common element found in the universe, and it is also the lightest element. The second most common element in the universe is helium, but in fact, it is very rare here on Earth, which I, for one, am pretty happy about, or else I think our voices would be much squeakier. And that's all we have for today. What I want you to do um, this week is to pick an element 
um, on the periodic table. And I want you to research it further. Is this element made in a lab? Is it naturally occurring on Earth? Where on Earth does it occur? What do we use it for? And tell your parents all about it. And remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.